Yes, we're over at the governor's mansion. And the nice thing was is we they shoveled it out for us. So it's all nice and uh, shoveled out. I'm sure he just does it no matter what. I don't imagine it was Walt. Uh, the flag's a half staff. Probably because of the Kentucky stuff. I'm not sure. But the mansion looks nice. People's house. Uh oh, here comes Bruce. We got a counter protester. There's Bruce. They shovel out this area too. <laughs> You don't bother to wipe off the railings, though. Yeah, so Bruce got out his uh, pro-life sign, like he said he was going to do, because I was talking about that earlier. Miss Scott will come out in the winter. Oh my God, I can't. Wait. Well, you know what I, you know what I don't see. What? I don't see any footprints. No, I haven't. There's no footprints out here. No dog prints. Um, footprints go into the bowl here. I'm supposed to put my hand in there. Probably not. Well, that's because they uh, they they raised and lowered. Ah. They put the, the the flags at half mast. So uh, that was. Uh, Well, you know, last year he'd come out in the snow, so I think uh, I think we, they don't they don't like us anymore because they used to send the dog out right away. The dog would come out right away. We're basically the Scout Fan Club, you know, and uh, I think they've decided that we're not we're not friends of Scout anymore. We're not going to be allowed to run video of Scout anymore. But the weird thing is I don't see any scout prints anywhere. Oh, no. So hopefully he's okay. I hope so. Well, because of it happening. Because what, what, kind of, what kind of person doesn't put your dog out in the yard? You know, obviously there's been no dog out here for yeah. you know, 24 hours. So is the dog... Uh, okay. Hopefully the dog's okay. Scout, wherever you are, I hope you're okay. We hope the dog is okay, because you can clearly dog. see that there's no animal prints anywhere around here. Well, you know, last year they would have prints up next to the fence and through the grass, and through the through the snow and everything. There's no prints around here. If you look around here, um, no prints. So, no dog prints anywhere. So. And I'm not sure when they shoveled this, but uh, dog has got to pee when a dog has got to pee, right? Yeah. Okay. Hopefully the dog's okay. We'll, we'll check. We'll be able to look to see whether or not they've been letting the dog out uh, next week. We haven't seen Scout for a couple of weeks. Normally, the dog just comes running. Like, literally, almost instantly, as fast as we get here, the dog comes charging out. Oh, yeah. I think that they let him out when the dog, they were used, they used to be letting him out when we showed up. Yeah. Those, those are not dog prints. I know that. I said this. There's people. Huh? Those are people and shovels and stuff. But not, uh, not dog. Not dog. At least not yet. Maybe later in the day. Maybe the dog is on vacation. I don't see any cat prints either. Really don't see much in terms of any kind of animal prints in that snow. Some small animals, like birds or something.
Now the the wreath here, or the whatever you want to call this thing, um, is not not attached super great. Um, now there's no prints out over here either. Uh, if I was a dog, I swear I'd be jumping around in that snow. My dog would for sure do that. Yeah. Um, they like the snow. Snow's fun. So the snow on the gate looks like a dog. This is sure. No. Oh, maybe. Maybe. So we got Sharon watching, and she's saying the snow on the fence looks like a dog. So, yeah, maybe. Oh, abortion is war is what your sign says. What's the other one say? I forgot about this side. <laughs> no, you're getting yeah, that's real calm. A little, little provocative. Yeah. But this is the side I remembered and what I was going to hold. Okay. Today. So you're 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 trying to be a, pr a provocateur today. Okay. Not actually. But oh. This, this, like well, the, clearly the this might, your message with Horton's be. Horton's uh, here's a who or whatever. Clearly that's. People should agree that no matter how small they are, this is a person, you yeah. know. Yeah, that's very you know. reasonable, and uh, that's very merciful and loving and caring and yep. valuing of our human yep. brothers and sisters. Yeah. This might be one of the first signs I ever made. This one? Yeah, because when they had the Republican convention here. The 2008, yeah. 2008? Yep. I think that's when I made this sign. So, do you have any experience yeah, with walked. bad guys in 2008? Did you have any issues with, with other people, like the Code Pink? And 2008, they had a lot of controversial. Yeah, there was a lot of things going on. There was a big, when I got there, so I was there during the Republican convention. I walked all around uh, in a circle, all around the area. Yep. And yeah, police were getting on me if I was on. I was on the wrong side of the street, and then people were mocking me for the sign. And uh, one person, I was getting some supporters, and I had a debate. And I had a strong supporter said, "You're a brave person, you know, being out alone sharing this sign." Yeah. So, yeah. I didn't realize my protesting days went back that far. Yeah. But that is one of the first signs, so it must have been 2008. That's when the GOP convention was. Yeah. 2008. Yeah, that was in uh, St. Paul. Yeah. Uh, where was that at again? River Center. <laughs> okay. It was at the, at the big, the big one. I didn't get very close to it. XL we'll or whatever. That. You didn't XL. get inside. Well, I certainly didn't get inside, and I didn't even get close, because they, they had fences and police force keeping you blocks away. I couldn't even get close to that building. Unless you talked to me. Was, oh, <laughs> I didn't know you did. Yeah, you would have got in. They would have. They would have probably not let you in. But I, I was going in and out of there all the time. So. It was pretty walking around. Yeah. And uh, the other time I was going to, the next time I was going to walk alone was when they. Uh, We, we had a vote where we voted the definition of marriage and uh, we weren't able to pass the marriage amendment. It was either that time or it's when the... That was why we lost, locked. that was why we lost voter ID, was we attached the marriage amendment to it. We should have just passed the voter ID and uh, 
and, and not tried to attach the two together. Are you talking about the amendment or a, a bill voted on? It was a constitutional amendment. It, yeah, we it, had the amendment, marriage is a man and a woman. It was either that one or some other law passed about marriage. Yeah. So they were big celebrations by LGBT in downtown St. Paul. Yeah. And so I was going to go to that and uh, support one man, one woman with all these parades in support of, you know, of, uh, you know going against our marriage laws. And, but I got really, really tired and I, I went to bed and slept instead. My daughter was so glad she's so afraid of my life. Oh. And doing some of these things. Yeah. I just saw the Lord was moving me back then to make a stand and not to hear people. Well, the, the, regular, the regular LGBT people um, aren't really necessarily violent. But these uh, these ones that control them, uh, the ones that we keep running into, even back then in 2000, 2008, they've been running around these uh, these groups that are uh, agitating and, and trying to whip up various other groups. They were around in uh, at that time, and uh, they've been LGBT dangerous for a long time. Sexualizing children. And objectifying children and sexual assault. Yeah. We saw that at the, uh, um, oh, what are those, those, uh, uh, gender queen, what are those queens? Drag queens. Drag queens. Yeah. We saw that with the drag queens at Bloomington. Yeah, reading at the library. The kids. Yeah, they're doing that. They're doing that. They're doing that deliberately to be insightful and to provoke people and get them mad. Um, that's not an accident. They're doing that stuff. But it's not just that these, um, you know, confused, morally conflicted people are reading to our children dressed as something other than they are. But that they have a background in pedophilia, they have a background in child pornography, and yet they're still letting them access kids and read their books. That's the crime right there. My friend, his son, uh, is a teenager now in school, and they're raising him that, you know, marriage is one man, one woman, and healthy sexuality is between a man and a woman. Well, the school teacher at his school public school hands them a book on homosexuality to try to explore that. They're recruiting kids into their LGBT community. Yeah. And, uh, and that's not appreciated because one to two percent of homosexuals contract over 50 percent of the AIDS in the United States. So uh, sexual, how you, your sexual life determines your health too. Yeah. And to expose kids to a lifestyle that's dangerous is really Ill immoral and really illegal. The laws of this land are for the safety and welfare of people. And when you start teaching kids lifestyles that can destroy them, like smoking marijuana and taking drugs, do they, do they have, I don't even know if they have uh, programs to warn kids about drug use in schools anymore. Yeah. I don't even know if that's part of the school. So what time is it, Cammy? <clears throat> Look at your text message I sent to you and Diana. I got the d driving directions to the other location. I think it's in Burnsville. Well, if you're cold, that's a, be a way to warm up. I sent it to you as a Facebook to, to you oh. and yeah, it's probably that one. This one? Yeah. Ah ha. Look, look up a little bit. Scroll, scroll back. You are invited. Awesome. Eric Lucero. Yep. How come the flag is half staff? Two o'clock to four thirty. It's, it's in uh, 
835 Let's figure out how far of a drive that is. 13, 8, 13 what? 835? Yeah. Frontier Lane? Yeah. Let's figure out how far of a drive that is from here. You want to go to that? 